Hello viewers, this is Paminder saying Welcome to all my learners We are working on communication and the communication business communication We have understood communication that it is basically transferring a meaningful information The basic components of a communication are sender, receiver, message, feedback and noise and this is true for business communication as well the difference between business communication is that it is for an organization. The communication takes place inside an organization as well as outside the organization. Inside it is meant for the people working there, passing information, plans, ideas, opinions, thoughts, advices, rest of the information about rules, regulations, policies, norms, various records among the various uh, levels of management outside the communication is with the customer with the consumer or other entities which might help or hamper the growth of the organization basically the communication is meant for the overall growth of an organization as far as um, the internal or external communication is there inside it is goal oriented that is profit making outside it is for the goodwill of the company of the organization in today's uh, session the learner will be able to understand the various models of communication they will be able to describe and differentiate various models of communication and they will appreciate the use of various models of communication in effective uh, communication skills as far as business communications are concerned in the last session, I have already listed the various uh, models of communication. But what is a model? Just imagine the model of Ferrari. What it will look like? It, look, it is basically a small shape of the large Ferrari or original Ferrari vehicle, or the car or the SUV. So communication, there is a model of communication. Basic model is sender, message, receiver, feedback, noise. But various uh, theorists have understood the process of communication or the uh, way of communication according to their own understanding of the whole process and then we have a model. We can choose any model for ourselves which we are comfortable at and we can just make sure that our flow of communication or the process of communication we can follow like that. Uh, don't think that these all lists will be a complicated one. Just you have to recall there are seven. I'll just announce Thayer's organizational communication model, Shannon and Weaver's informational theory model, Pauline and Gosher's group communication model, circular model of communication, interactional model of communication, Burlow's SMCR model, model, model of communication. Seven I have taken, but I've, I have not uh, planned the coming slides according to this particular sequence. I have taken from easier to difficult. First, I have taken the circular model of communication. You can see the components are sender, message, receiver, feedback and you, you can visualize a circle. Circle means that there is no stopping, stopping, that it is moving continuously. How it is moving? Sender is generating a message, receiver is receiving the message. Now this receiver becomes the sender, this receiver sends a feedback to the sender and this process goes on till the receiver in this case, this clearly understands the message in its original form. So it's, it, it is basically a two-way communication. And since you can find a circular connection among the components of the communication process, it is known as circular model of communication. Next, Shannon and Weaver's information theory model. Yeah, this particular uh, model has given us two three more things from the normal model of communication that is sender message receiver feedback first for information they have given a source there will be a source of information it can be your thoughts that is inside the brain it can be an online or anything you have read anything you have seen or experienced and then sender transmit this particular information generated through a source to, through a media or channel media can be visual audio, verbal, non-verbal, written and then there will be receiver of a message 
it can be your office it can be a computer and then there will be destination there will be a source and there will be final destination destination can be a person again can be any device now this destination will give a feedback or response to the source and this process is also more or less circular but here you can see that there is a source of noise as well that means interaction interruption can generate at any moment in this particular circular mode so this is your shannon and weaver's information theory model it is a comprehensive model and it includes feedback noise the source of information and the destination plus the media or channel it is more elaborate then the circular model of communication it is again a circle but it is more elaborate than the last one since it is including noise feedback source and media or channel this is interactional model of communication as the name suggests it is an interaction it sees communication as a process of interaction repetitive interaction why repetitive because here you can see person x person y person x is sender here there is a message there is a receiver now this receiver becomes a sender there is a message and again a receiver then this receiver becomes a sender that means there are two person and they are ex interacting among themselves such that the message is understood in its original form and from time to time their role changes so this is interactional model of communication it is the most basic model of communication as far as uh, normal communication or business communication is concerned next is the modern model of communication modern model of communication as uh, we have already explained this model previously in my earlier sessions in the classroom there will be a sender there will be a receiver there will be a message passed through a media with the help of media sender will encode a message then it will choose a media and the receiver is going to decode the message but then there will be a response response will be generated at receiver end and this will be passed on as feedback to the sender and here also there are every possibilities of noise or interruptions in the communication skills here you can also see that it is also a circular one that means communication is always two way one sends other understand then there is a feedback if the communication is not understood in it in its uh, original form again the sender resend the message till the whole process is completed such that the original message is understood in its original form by the receiver for whom the message is meant next model is our smcr model communication burlos smcr communication model this model <coughs> is an important model why because it tells us that what are the factors which might be responsible for the barrier to communication how the communication can be influenced there is a source message channel and receiver s for source m for message c for channel and r for receiver this is a normal process of normal process of communication source and receiver are two important entities just see communication skills attitudes knowledge social system and culture influences the communication of a source and understanding by the receiver is is influenced by again communication skills attitude knowledge social system and culture just see this see this these are the basic barriers to communication whether you are sending or whether you are receiving the communication if my communication skills are as good as your communication skills i will able to understand you my attitudes are as good as you i will be able to understand so these are the factors which influence the source that is sender and receivers this is what this model of communication help us to understand about the process of communication next model is thayer's organizational communication model this model talks about 
the various factors or elements which might create noise as far as communication is concerned you can see one two three organization where communication takes place people are interacting so interpersonal communication takes place and then there is an individual who is a social animal he is having certain psychology background education cultural status social status intrapersonal these are the three elements which are responsible for generating communication the way it is generated in an organization organization affects communication interpersonal skills of individuals working there affects communication and intrapersonal talk or interpersonal or individual himself or herself affects the communication and together all these three are combined such that the communication overall communication takes place inside an organization and together technology also affects the communication so basically thiers organizational communication model tells how the communication is affected by the various elements of an organization that is biological psychological social as well as technological next we are taking colin and gosher's group communication model in when you are working in a uh, organization there are two things there is a work and people work and people work now as far as communication is concerned there will be barriers due to interpersonal environment barriers due to work environment then if you take these this area how it works <clears throat> basically the uh, process of communication is affected by the work environment the behavior related to work environment as far as person is concerned it will be affected by interpersonal environmental barriers how we interact, interact uh, with each other in an organization and interpersonal message sending behavior whether we are communicating openly or whether we keep to ourselves few things we are not describing everything in its uh, connotations we are just giving in we are not sending messages in its original form out of this this interpersonal environment barrier and barriers of work environment are interrelated this may generate this and this may generate this now interpersonal message sending behavior and behavior related to work environment are again interchangeable the affecting each other now due to this interpersonal message sending behavior there can be individual production as well as accumulated production of working hand and together what the individual does what a team does will give you group production and this group production will lead to reward of work environment and meanwhile the whole process will generate interpersonal reward also i appreciate you you appreciate and again reward will affect the behavior related to work environment and interpersonal message sending behavior this is colin and gosher's group communication model i'll explain little bit in depth uh, when you are working in an organization people are there people are working when they are working there will be work environment and when people are there then there will be interactions due to interactions the various levels of interactions there will be barriers interpersonal due to work culture there will be barriers due to work environment then due to all this there will be a behavior of how uh, the work uh, environment is affected and how the behavior is affected due to the barriers in interpersonal and uh, barriers of work environment this may lead to these four things may lead to individual production as well as accumulated production whether i individually uh, do uh, the things or i am working in a combination of people i am a team player or i am not a team player uh, individually i am working there will be a generation of group production 
ग्रुप प्रोडक्शन इज गोइंग टू रिवॉर्ड